All right, let's face it, driverless cars aren't about to flood the roadways just yet, but they could find their way in commercial applications very soon thanks to positioning technology that's getting more accurate every day. That's the 19th Charles Gonzalez shows us some of that technology is coming right out of San Antonio. This 2006 Ford Explorer has traveled many miles on Southwest Research Institute's test track. We were basically treating it as a research project. Most of those without anyone behind the wheel. One day I, I would love to have it drive me home. The culmination of more than five years of work. They showcased some of the technology behind the Ranger program this week at a national conference. The way that we developed this was, was basically to solve the problem of imprecise localization from commonly available sensors like GPS. The truck, equipped with cameras, sensors, radar, and even LIDAR on its undercarriage, uses algorithms to stay on course. It is literally reading the fingerprint of the road to determine where the vehicle is. The technology they're using now is much more accurate than GPS. In fact, they can pinpoint their location to within less than an inch. And Ranger has, has basically allowed us to, to do on-road type driving where GPS or other similar sensors don't, don't really uh, give us the same fidelity and capability. Not bad for something that started as a research project. It now has legitimate commercial applications. It's a applicable to, to other more challenging environments such as uh, freight distribution areas, uh, constrained, constrained sites with a lot of traffic, uh, and, and that require precise positioning and, and navigation. So no driverless cars yet, but when they come, you just might have to thank these guys. Charles Gonzalez, KSAT 12 News.